Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the Bantam weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a fight record of eight wins and two losses. He fights out of Mighty Warriors, Brandon Santos. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a fight record of 11 wins and two losses. He fights out of A-Team Stars, Vili Von Royan. A lot of support here for Vili Von Royan. Definitely one of the crowd favorites and one of the guys that has a lot of experience in the versus cage. Both, both of these guys have competed here before. It's gonna come down to who's faster, who's more on their feet, who mixes it up better. This is gonna be a sick fight. Stra straight out to the center is Brandon. Nice right right out to Oh, it's a big right from Brandon and Santos as Vili van Royen came in to close the distance. You can just see that stand-up experience coming to light here. Oh, beautiful head movement from Brandon Santos coming in. Just evading all the punches, but a really nice guard. That's really high up from Billy. Big left cross from Brandon. Beautiful leg check there as well, blocking those leg kicks. Oh, nice body kick from Brandon as well. Still light on his feet, dancing the outside is Billy van der Royen. Beautiful front kick. But nicely blocked as well by Brandon. Stylistically beautiful to watch, technically as well. Great head move by, by Brandon. Super relaxed, no expression on the face of Brandon Santos. You are, you're asking for a stand-up fight, and that's exactly what you got, Cameron. First lads really showing their style. Nice combo as well by a good left from Vili. And a nice combination reply from Brandon. Good knee up the middle Great from Great knee Roy. followed up with that hand. Really high level kickboxing from both fighters. There's Brandon Santos trying to push forward a little bit. But Philly Van Royen just showing very effective counters. Brandon Santos applying the initial pressure, but now Veli pushing forward here in this clinch. And this is where the fight gets interesting as well. Because these guys do K1, these clinch exchanges aren't necessarily going to divert to the wrestling. It's going to go about where do they set up for those knees. Billy got the double clasp behind Brandon, pulling him forward to see if he can create space for that knee up the middle. Good head pressure from both. They just reply with the knees. Nice clinch work from both guys. And Ryan with the knee of his own. Perhaps looking for the disengage. But happy to keep it. But Santos is pushing him up against the cage. But nice move from Van, Van Royen to deny him the space to do so. Van Royen, nice head positioning. Under the chin of his opponent, just pushing it up, keeping him upright. Things thinking about possibly looking at the trip. Just straightening him up like an arrow. Looking for that trip again. Here's Willy Van Royen, but nice balanced in reply from Brandon Santos. 20 seconds left in this round. Now breaking the clinch and unloading. Oh, both guys are oh, swinging. Both of these guys. Van Royen does well to get out of the danger zone after the combination from him was what sparked Santos into a couple of combos of his own. Just getting out of the back door was Vili Van Royen. What a great round that Beautiful was. Beautiful first round. Real high level kickboxing as well. Yeah. And I'm glad it didn't go to the ground. Not that I, you know, I, I do love my grappling, but yeah. that was cracking. That is great, especially after having two fights that were in the light heavyweight division a little bit slower you know i might be biased i am a bantamweight but those slow <laughs> guys you know you want to see explosiveness you want to see these quick fast movements these creative stand-up exchanges and that's what we saw we saw a very creative level changing and head movement from brandon santos and then we saw this almost relentless pressure that you almost see a lot in k1 from Vili von royen so both of these guys, I would love for them to come out exactly the same. Focus a little bit more on setting up their shots, not trying to land everything as a knockout blow, and then really setting up the kicks. I would love to see them mix up leg kicks, body kicks, and then yeah. later start playing with those head kicks as well. 
but some of the head movement, particularly from Santos coming in, was absolutely sublime. Yeah. Beautiful slip and a misses, ripping go down to the body, then going up high, just really good footwork. Really beautiful kickboxing from both lads. A lot of feints from both fighters. Those leg kicks from Billy, really not anywhere near. Then he's going up high, he's just trying to set something up. Keep his opponent guessing. Brandon fainting the level change. Almost no expression on the face of Brandon Santos. Oh, it's got nice face. shots. Good shots from Billy Van Roy. And a nice right on the disengage as well. Santos comes with a nice left of his own now as Vidi Fen Ryan's exiting the pocket. I'm enjoying this fight, but there's no, no man that's enjoying it more than Pity Cox. He's living every moment, isn't he? Is he? Low. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he loves He loves a good fight, as Pity Cox said. That's probably what makes him a good referee. Really getting inside the fighters' heads where they are. Getting out of the way in terms of the movement of the fighters, letting the action flow. It's a nice right uppercut within the clinch from Vili Van Royen. Controlling the back of head nicely up the middle Beautiful from Santos. Knees. Nice work inside the clinch from both fighters. Again, that head positioning from Van Royen. I would love to see Vili break that clinch and immediately unload. Same with Brandon. If you have the guys back against that cage, break that clinch, throw the hands, clinch back up, and do that repeatedly. It is exhausting, but you will land clean shots. Brandon Santos, just a powerhouse, putting Willy van Rooyen back against that cage once again. Just turning him in where he did very well, did Willy van Rooyen under a lot of pressure. Beautiful. To his opponent back in. Beautiful knee to the leg once again. Really chopping down the foundation of Brandon Santos. Fighting for a lot of wrist control. It's very even in the clinch. Now it's Santos pushing Van Roy. He doesn't want his back up against the cage, though. He wants to get out of that position. He's not comfortable with it behind him. Santos, both lads almost looking like they had the trip. Of course. I'm always there here screaming for elbows on a disengage, but not allowed at amateurs. Yes. Begging for it. I'm just itching. <laughs> just get that right in where you just... Even a knee to the head over there. That it's so tempting, isn't it? And then, but both, both these fighters are doing very well with their clinch work by keeping it very technically sound. Yeah. Look, nice repeated right hooks for Fenroy in there, though. I love that plum clinch where you are now set mm. up with that right hand. I would like to see him do that more. Oh, he's looking to take... Hit the switch and get the takedown with Sven Ryan, but good display of balance from Santos. Another very even round, but probably in terms of control, I'd score it for Sven Ryan, but Santos is always in this fight, always looking dangerous on the stand-up and his kickboxing. Beautifully matched fight, very evenly poised going into the third. Most definitely. I think when it comes to workload, I think it favours Vili van Roy, and he's been absolutely working, especially in those last few seconds of that clinch exchange, getting the back, landing the knees to the hamstrings, which you can't really condition. You know, you can condition your thighs, your inner legs. Hamstrings are a little yeah. bit different, you know, yeah. so getting that back control, landing those knees here in the action replay. You see the setup. You see those beautiful knees almost immediately as the clinch exchange happens. He gets that plum clinch and he throws those knees. Super explosive from both of them. Yeah, I think that last knee from Santos almost picked Van Royen up from the ground. A lot of power in it. But he's wanting to go. Three minutes to decide how they're going to be leaving this venue. They have three minutes to work, three minutes to try and get a finish. You must think that Billy is probably leading the judges' favor, but it's really hard to say. Santos looking like he's trying to head on a little bit. Yeah. Just pushing forward a little bit. But it's Billy Van Royen just dancing on the outside. Posing a very difficult leg. moving target. Yeah, nice two repeated leg kicks. So the back leg was the opponent as well, Nachal. Yes. It's not easy. Well, Santos does well to close the distance, comes in. He's a couple of shots though for entering the pocket. Beautiful kick. Goes to the body, nice trip from Santos as he catches the kick though. 
Teasing the triangle, good scramble. Good scramble, oh, that's exactly what I was talking about. Using that scramble to get to your feet, to try and unload once again. You see that relentless wrestling. Almost getting a trip. Was Van Royen. If I'm Villy's corner, I'm, I'm breaking that up once again. You have so much success on the hand, on the feet. Oh, nice knees from Santos, though. Beautiful knees by Santos. Beautiful control by Santos here. Good head control. Using that right high leg. Here's Santos, just turning Van Royen back in now. Both these lads, upper torso strength is very evenly matched. Yes. Both able to turn in back and forth. In terms of the output, it's certainly Van Royen initiating the knees to the stomach, but then Santos has some very powerful replies. Nice knee to the inside left leg of Santos, Fred Van Royen. Turning him in again is Santos though. Just using every ounce of torque he has by just contorting his body to get the power down on the clinch. Yeah. But yet Van Royen's able to turn his opponent back in. One minute left. Both guys showing incredible gas tank. To be clinching up against the fence like this Cameron for three rounds is really something quite special. Yeah. And I would love to have a significant strike meter here because I think they have landed so many shots yes. and they're still going. There's 40 seconds left. Well, I talked that. about the knee from Santos that almost lifted Van Royen off his feet. Yeah. And he just smiled over the corner and turned his opponent round again. I mean, it's almost superhuman. Both guys showing absolutely fantastic strength. Great chins. As Van Royen kind of half-heartedly looks for the hip throw. But really happy to keep it on the feet. It's such an entertaining affair. I mean, there's 15 seconds in this final third. It's not enough. As Santos looks for the trip, and he gets the takedown finally against Van Royen. In the dying seconds of the third round, and fought with a couple of shots. Van Royen's trying to control the torso of Santos for love and money to try and prevent the damage. And that was a good finish to that third Beautiful. round. What a great fight. Great effort from both. Take a bow, Billy Van Royen, Brandon Santos. Left it all in that versus cage. And just a massive show of respect. Those fighters gave absolutely everything. And it's lovely to see, you know, at Versus there is a very different atmosphere in terms of how these fighters approach each other backstage, how they approach each other at weigh-ins, the amount of effort they put in the cage. They just leave nothing and take nothing for granted when they go into the cage against each other. And then it's all said and done, the respect they have for each other, because there's so many people who have been teammates in the past in the amateur structures. So many people will be on the same SA team at IMAF and in the finals and internationally traveling with each other. But they go in there and when that bell sounds, it is all war. But when it's all said and done, nothing but respect, integrity and honor. And I think that's what I'm taking away from the fight night here at Versus Fight Night 5. Most definitely it's something that we are definitely proud of. It's proud to represent not only South Africa, not only South African MMA on the highest stage in the best amateur organization in Africa, but also just showing the, the true example of what a martial artist can be. And it's awesome to see these guys leave it all in the versus cage and maybe trash talk beforehand, maybe even in the fight, but afterwards, if that bell has rung, it's all said and done, and they can enjoy a Buffalo Fontaine, but I'm together. As, as, as we are here. Um, not that you would know what trash talk is, Cameron Simon. You keep it really clean. I must say, yes, that's something that we, uh, we, we're not uh, very fond of. You know, I, I like to do my talking in the cage. <laughs> and, and these guys have it versus Fight Night 5 as well, and that's part of the brand at Versus. You know, a lot of the fighters, the investment of the match, makers, the management here, really going and understanding what motivates fighters in the right way. Yeah, yeah great fight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for these two warriors. This bout goes to the judges. All the judges score this bout. Well, my apologies. The judges score this bout 30-27. 30-27 and 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Billy Van Royen. <laughs>